meditation. Just come join, just close your eyes and listen. Let's figure out which one we're gonna do real quick. And then we into it. Let's see. Let's see. Alrighty, here we go. This week, we've been hearing the term personal reality, which may sound strange. For almost everyone, reality is a given, a physical setup that applies to all of us. Actually, reality is always personal. It reflects your state of consciousness, a truth that remains hidden in most people's lives. Now, on day 20, the truth can be brought to light in our meditation titled The Reality of Unbounded Power. Once you reclaim the power to create your personal reality, you will open up unbounded possibilities in transforming the world around us. We will discover that as our expanding awareness heals, balances and rejuvenates our personal reality, it will simultaneously be healing, balancing and rejuvenating our shared reality, the Earth. That's an exciting prospect. So let's begin. All your life you have been creating your personal version of reality. No two people see a sunset or respond to a rainy day exactly the same way. Those are differences in mood and psychology. The creative potential of consciousness runs much deeper even though almost everyone is unaware of this. An eminent physicist, John Archibald Wheeler, had a breakthrough idea when he declared that we live in a participatory universe. We are not like children with our noses pressed against a candy store window, observing from the outside. Our awareness is entangled with the very atoms and molecules of the universe. The same applies to everyday reality. Our awareness shapes our surroundings and the events that occur out there in the physical world. We don't notice how intimately we create our personal reality for two reasons. First, we blindly accept the existence of an independent physical world separate from our inner world. And second, we skate on the surface of mental activity without going deep enough to connect with the creative level of our own awareness. We know that when we notice our presence of awareness, our I am awareness, we experience reality that is beyond an artificial distinction of inner and outer, and we connect with the unlimited power of universal consciousness. It's not necessary to argue these things in the abstract. What matters is how we can use the power of our awareness to create positive change in our everyday lives and for the planet we live on. Throughout this meditation experience, the theme of empowerment has unfolded in many ways. Now we reach the final stage. In Sanskrit, the process takes place at the deepest level of the mind, known as Samyama. In this process, a thought or intention, when generated from your deepest awareness, is fulfilled by nature itself. The pure consciousness has within itself the power to manifest, and that consciousness is your true self. Samyama has a long spiritual tradition in India, and having the skill to direct your thoughts into fulfillment is a very advanced state of self-realization. But in our meditations, we dive deeper and closer to the level where thoughts acquire creative power. And we've all experienced, at least in flashes, having a thought that immediately manifests, such as thinking of a friend's name and having the friend call on the telephone a minute later. Generally, we pass this off by saying, I was just thinking about you. 
But what is being glimpsed is the perfect synchronization between the inner and outer domains of life. All thoughts have some effect on our outer life. This is the main lesson of today. The synchronicity and intuition we experience shows that what we call the inner and outer world are actually entangled and connected within a unified consciousness. If you accept that thoughts turn into outward expressions, you've taken a leap toward the immense creative potential of consciousness. This connection of our thoughts and feelings inside, having an impact on the world we all experience outside, works both ways. Ego-driven thoughts like greed, aggression, fear and exploitation can manifest collectively in the world as environmental pollution and degradation, ecosystem disruption, scarcity of food and clean water, refugeeism, and international conflict. But when we transform our awareness and begin to live in the present, we generate loving, healing, and balancing thoughts and feelings from a much deeper and more powerful level of awareness than ego-based thoughts. These enlightened, loving, compassionate, and unifying thoughts in our personal reality will have their profound influence in transforming, healing, balancing, and regenerating our outer global reality. This is how we bring about our unique expression of self-empowerment into the world and create true, lasting change. As we prepare to meditate together, Let's take a moment to consider our centering thought. I create my personal reality and transform outer reality. I create my personal reality and transform outer reality. Now let's prepare for our meditation. Make yourself comfortable and close your eyes. Begin to be aware of your breath and just breathe slowly and deeply. With each breath, allow yourself to become more deeply relaxed. Now, gently introduce the mantra Om Kleem Shreem. Om Kleem Shreem. This mantra activates and guides our awareness to create a reality that supports our life purpose and is in harmony with others. Repeat it silently to yourself. Om Kleem Shreem. Om Kleem Shreem. Om Kleem Shreem. With each repetition, feel your body, mind and spirit open into an expanded state of awareness. Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts, noises or physical sensations, simply return your attention to silently repeating the mantra. Om Kleem Shreem. Om Kleem Shreem. Om Kleem Shreem. Please continue with your meditation. I'll mind the time and you'll hear a soft bell at the beginning and end of the meditation. Om Kleem Shreem. Om Kleem Shreem. Om Kleem Shreem.
mantra. Continue to sit restfully, inhaling and exhaling slowly. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. As you continue with your day, contemplate this centering thought. I create my personal reality and transform outer reality. I create my personal reality and transform outer reality. Namaste. how you deal with things and when I meditate I deal with things a lot better. Not angry. All that so we'll clean up a little bit here. I think that's done. Show y'all the water a little bit.
Thanks for joining. We are.